Hey guys, Cheap here. Um, you might be wondering to yourself why you're on the overlay, which I never get to use. But hey, there it is. Um, on the overlay, because I have to explain that I'm not feeling 110%. I'm feeling about 12, 15%-ish at most, which is why you're not getting Hive Swap Friend Sim, because my voice would give out immediately. I can already tell. Um, and you're not getting the Friday the 13th killer puzzle, because when I feel sick, I don't have a brain for puzzle. So instead, you're going to get another Pokemon game in a row. I will stop this game at some point and record the other stuff when I don't feel like garbage. But unfortunately, Pokemon's one of the few things that I can play and not feel awful. So, without further ado... There. Seamless. And there, you guys know all this stuff. It's a fan game. Don't... Don't, like, lose your minds. Um, I have never played this game. It's not going to be a Nuzlocke. It's just going to be me playing it blind and hoping for the best. Look at this kid jogging. Um, this is Pokemon Uranium. Which is a, as it said, it was a fan-made game. I say it was, like, really big for a long time, and the Pokemon was like, how dare you? Um. But, like, I wanted to say they had, like, an online trading community. It's, like, they had a whole bunch of connectivity and stuff, but that stopped. But you can still play the game, which is what I got here. I could be telling you guys the wrong stuff. I can't remember. How long is he gonna run? He's making some leeway. I've never seen this before, so I kind of want to watch and see what this kid does. Are you going to be picked up by a bird and flown off? No, still just running. Alright, we got a mountain in the background. This is going to be the entire episode, guys. Just me, like, describing what's going on as this kid really slowly runs. I like this little cowlick thing in the back. I always wish I had a cowlick, and then I realized I do have a cowlick with, like, four strands of hair in the front of my, like, in my front. Oh, that's cute. You're almost like a puppy hyena. Oh, we got a fireless. Look at the little frills on his butt. You know I'm used to Lazzle. What are you? You're cute. Oh my gosh. That's adorbs. These are all adorbs. Was that my start? Oh, that's etchy. What are you? Um... Oh, I can't run a d20. Roll a d20. I can't run a d20. I can't roll a d20 to decide which started to go with. So let's go d6 out. Play the oh, jeez, there's laser beams. I get why it's called uranium now. I think I've caught on. Yay! Try to get that on the screen. Uh, space to continue. It is made for keyboards. Oh, I can make other save files? Okay, so... Uh, tech speed fast, which should really be the default. Okay, set controls. All right, that's everything I want to be. Um, action's going to be Z. Why are there two for action? All right, so C, enter in space. Oh, all of those work as a thing, but I prefer it being Z, so let's... Let's make that Z. Um, yeah, cancel as X. Run. I'm gonna make run C. Oh, cool. Oh no, that's not what I wanted. I would like down to be down. Yeah, save changes. I just make down up. Alright. No. 
No. Okay, it defaulted. Okay, so run is Z, and that's why it can't. Okay. I know, this is enthralling. But I'm used to action being Z and cancel being X, and then C. Okay. Yes. I just how do I get out of this? Uh that's my B now. Alright, new game. Five minutes. In. Oh, there's a custom Nozlock mode. Okay, we're gonna do a regular run. Because I've never played this before. Huh? Who is it? Oh, hello there! Welcome to the world of Pocket Mans. This guy's so cool. Bambo. Bruh. But if you wanna but if you find that hard to pronounce, you can just call me the Pokemon for Okay. Yo, Professor, you blinked. If he's playing for a job, right? Great. Uh No if oh I could have reconfigured controls there. Whoops. Oh <gasps> I want fifty of them. Look at it, we're getting one of those. I will hunt you down. Alright, we share the world with Pokemon. They're not animals, they possess powers and stuff, and super smart. You guys can read this stuff, because I don't know if it's like copyright or anything for the intro. Coexist. That, like most people, have read this stuff. That's work, helping, trainers. Good times for everybody. There's so much we don't know. We study them, though. Oh, they're an expert on Pokemon elements. Yeah, they do. Yes, they do. Why do they exist? Are there any types in this game? Alright, we're reporting to his lab tomorrow. We just fill out this form here. Oh, that one's the gender neutral. That's a boy. That's gender neutral. And that's a girl who's got the weirdest little... What's going on with your hair? But I like this outfit. But I'm a girl. No, we are a chicken. Cheap, are you right? We're like a little torchic. Ready for battle. Journey, your story is about to unfold. The blank state. Slate. You together with Pokemon are going to fill it. There will be challenges and thrills, and you're bound to make exciting discoveries. Let's go! Oh snap, ten years ago, Cheech family lived in Eel Beach City. Largest city in Tandor. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, our father looks sketchy as heck. <laughs> Your father, Kellen, was a brave and talented Pokemon Ranger. My mother, Lucille, was a brilliant scientist and expert on nuclear energy. Mom looks less sketchy, but I can see her getting there. Though they both work demanding jobs, they always found time to spend at home with young Cheap. Into a region was at peace, and Lucille's company was working on a form of clean energy that would change the world. The future seemed bright until we had to wear shades. There I was. It was an ordinary day at the nuclear power plant where Lucille worked. Our routine inspection, they brought in a specialist to take a look at the electrical system. Is it that guy on the right? Chairman, have you finished your diagnostics? I don't know if I would trust that guy to... I, look, I know that my people that work on computers and stuff like that, I should clarify my people, uh, we're known for our crazy hairstyles, but there's a certain stage where it's like, are you in a biker gang? All right. Yes, I have. Everything seems to be working perfectly. Oh no, I'm doing so much reading. <laughs> Generate you design really does its job well, Lucille. Excellent. When it's finished their work, we'll break for lunch. 
Uh, boss, you might want to take a look at this. Strange. Temperature readings are far higher than a what did you do? Do we need to reset the thermometer or the reactor is leaking a massive amount of heat? Can't be a thermometer. I just checked that. So Ah So you breach in the reactor at this temperature. Just a few minutes. We'll have a total meltdown. That like one word on lights been throwing me off. Everyone needs to evacuate now. The seal. You have to leave too. Miles will try to save the day. The seal. Wait, hold up. Are we gonna have a dad and no mom? Cameron's help, all of the scientists were able to escape unscathed. Except Lucille. She's never seen again after that day. Mom's gonna have like seven heads when we see her. If we see her. Radiation leaking from the broken reactor made the surrounding area uninhabitable for many years. Following any attempts to try and search for her. Loss of his wife had a profound effect on Kellen, who still looks super evil. Personality- Yeah! His personality changed. He became cold and dedicated to his job. Time he got promoted to chief of the Tandor Pokemon Rangers. However, he became too busy to care for his child. The young chief was sent to live with their elderly auntie in Moki Town. Oh, I forgot. We did have a protagonist that had a father at one point. But his health waned. Supporting a child was too much work for her. Fortunately, Ernest Bambo, or is it Bambo? I'm calling you Bambo. Bambi, <laughs> the local Pokemon professor, was looking for a research assistant. Two kids from Moki Town applied. Cheap, and the childhood friend Theo. Common for use of a certain age. Receive Pokemon and travel the region as a Pokemon trainer. So Cheap's journey begins. It's cool. We got this like whole baller backstory. Cheap, come downstairs. You are late. Dad, for a new video game on TV. It's a Pokemon battle simulation call game called Red vs. Blue or Red and Blue version. Look at us. Oh, how do I pull up the menu? It's be Oh, that's cool. All right, let's do a quick save. Excellent. We're all spunky. I think our bag. Oh, that's so cool. This is why I wanted to play this, because they put a ton of work in this. Do I have a potion? There's always a po Yes. I don't get me wrong, I love me some ROM hacks, but this was made almost entirely from scratch, I believe. Like, there's similar assets and stuff like that that they use, but, um... Brain embroidery. Oh, it's where the heart is. And there's a heart underneath it. Cute grandma. Or auntie. Um... But, like, I'm not running this in a ROM. This is straight up the game. Cheap, sweet. Today's your big day, isn't it? That's part of why, I like, Nintendo was like, hey! <laughs> it helped feel glum seeing my little one all grown up and leaving home. Oh, if only these old bones could do more so that I could support us both. We know that you're ready for this, and you and that boy, Theo, always following your footsteps, that one. I've always been so capable, but I wonder about him. He is younger, after all. It's fine. He'll probably end up in horrible danger and I'll save him. It's... We're on the case, auntie. I keep wanting to call her grandma. Just Father Cameron wouldn't allow him to go unless he was sure. Anyway, celebrate your big day. I got you a present! They have running shoes! And running, running. Run, hold. See, you can toggle on to run in the menu. Sniffle. Oh, don't mind me, sweetie. Just an emotional old lady. If only you father would be being a jerk. If only your father were here right now. Well, I'm sure he's proud of you, too. I'm positive you'll run into him during your adventure. I shouldn't keep you any longer. Say hi to that nice professor man for me, will you? Don't mind stopping by again after you get your first Pokemon. I'd love to see it. Good luck, sweetie. Yeah! Nyum. Look at her cute little pink room. <gasps> I the wrong button.
Oh, it is cheerful here. I have no idea where this professor- Yo! Maybe the big bread one now, eh, cheap? Pop by to visit your auntie now and get to- Stay away from my aunt, I'll punch you in your face. How do you know where I'm going? How cheap you're leaving home, right? Here, have this. It'll help you in a journey. Don't eat it yourself. Thanks! We're 15 minutes in. I don't have Pokemon. What is that? Tin tin. My husband's long been a admirer of your father, you know. So you're finally heading on an adventure, eh? Look after your old man that would... What, and being a not-present jerk with a dead wife? Alright, I want to talk to everybody, but I know you're gonna get mad. So jealous to have your own Pokemon. Mom says I gotta wait till I'm older. I keep wanting to push X for run. That's my problem. I didn't go up so fast, not so long ago. It seemed like I was one myself. Sure to have fun on your adventure. Alright, there's rocks there. We ain't going there. I would like to get in this door. So cheap. Today's the day that you and Theo received your first Pokemon, isn't it? Theo was excited. I imagine you must be too. Oh, I remember the day. All those years ago. Yes, I was a Pokemon trainer just like you once. And I took a Pokeball to the knee. I'm retired now, of course, but I still remember what it was like. An auspicious day indeed. Looking for Theo. I'm afraid he's not here. He's already gone ahead of to the Pokemon Lab. Thank you to the north of town. He's not very patient. You should probably hurry along and join him. Yeah, that was the thing that you could do. I don't know if you can still do it. Town of fresh beginnings. Kabug, it's so cute. I think I like Burby. It's a flying type, so it's strong as but I I think that's the cat burb I want. There's now a trainer. Do you know she's training her chin monk? On route one, say hi to her if you see her. Okay, I bet that's where we gotta go after we get a Pokemon. Should I step in the grass? Listen, have you heard the new video game? It's called Pokemon Red Version. Bought my son a new video game. All the children are playing these days. Now I won't put it down for even a second. Hey, okay, real quick. We're gonna... Okay. So it says Z still, even though it's C. Okay, so I don't walk into the grass. Most of the Pokemon species found in Tandor are native to this region, but there are some which can be found in other regions too, like Mankey and Dunsparce. Look at that little What is... Turn around, what are you? I see you have a tail. Stop waving your butt. Is it a plant type? Is it grass? How do I play the game when we find out what it is? Oh, I gotta wait up. Holy cow, you're tiny. I think you're going, huh? Are you trying to get to the lab before me? Dude, you have- Oh, look at its little stump legs! It's like a better seat out with a curly cue. I caught you up there. Trying to get to the lab before me so you can get the better Pokemon? Well, that ain't gonna happen. Because I'm gonna get the strongest one first. Try to keep up- I ain't going to punt you into the ocean. <gasps> look at it! You're cute. And you're cute. And you're adorbs. See, here's a problem. There's obvious dragon, which I would normally pick on my boyfriend's behalf. But like, I like rolling for my starter. Hey, if it isn't cheap, and uh, your friend, Tommy was- Yes. I'll say, Pops, can't you even remember my name? It's Theo. Theo! Right, right, Theo, you're just in time. It's a very special day for both of you. First day is- our first day at work as field research assistants at Bambo Pokemon Research Labs. I will have you traveling across Tandor, observing and capturing many different kinds of Pokemon- My throat is killing me. <laughs> to help me with my research on Pokemon elements. Cool. I threw Pokemon here that will lead you on a journey. For your starters though, you'll both take the Pokemon Trainer Aptitude Test. 
All right, so Theo is getting a bit of a test. I didn't study for any test. You're gonna give us a rare, powerful Pokemon. Now, now, don't worry. It's the kind of test, or not the kind of test you have to study for. So we determine what kind of Pokemon trainer you will be. Different starter Pokemon are better suited for different battling styles. All right, I guess I'm not rolling into six. Starter Pokemon will be your lifelong partner, so it's important for you to work well together. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Enough talking. I want to get my Pokemon. Jeez, kid, you're not very patient, are you? All right. I know more about what's on. Task before we begin. You can toss my eight. Now, let's do it. Excellent. So, without further ado, there are new kind of wild Pokemon. What's your first reaction? Oh, can I change the screen size? No, that's just clipped up. Do I click? I'm gonna throw a Pokeball at it. I don't know what I picked. Come on, that was easy. Give me a tougher one. Okay, next question then. Oh, now I can see it. Uh, Hyper Beam. I'm supposed to see him anyways. Um, I'll tell you later. Let's move on to the next question, shall we? I can't remember what Gliscor is, but I still think it's Ampharos. Possible to fail this test? No, it isn't. Now it's your final question, so I answered honestly. If we're gonna become the very best. Much about it. I'm gonna be a Pokemon Master. Ain't nobody gonna stand in my way. Alright, uh, dig your spirit, kid. That's it. So I think we're fire type. Okay, I finished my nails. It took you so long. Um, cheap. Me trader won't hesitate to go for what you want. Overall, your performance of sheer force, willpower, or power. And the best defense is a good offense. Is probably your yes. <laughs> Murder is the best form of CC. The burning spirit, and then you that will never ceases for an offensive trader like you. Oh my gosh, it's a raptor? Alright, we're going fire starter. Fates have aligned. Go ahead and take it cheap. Yay! That's kind of a nickname. Oh, it's a girl. I can't name you Aru. Uh. Um. Ember's a lazy name. Oh, escape to cancel. Okay, we're just gonna not nickname stuff. Okay, I'm tired of waiting. Got their starter already. When do I get mine? Been analyzing the results, Theo. Hmm. Theo should have really gotten the fire type. Theo? You certainly know what you want, ally. Also, have been patient and you care mostly about your own desires. This isn't something else in you. Be a seed of greatness, a potential to transform yourself completely. Or maybe it's just that you're so young I can't tell. Regardless, for a trainer like you... Oh, we got the one stronger than him! <laughs> oh, but it's a kitty! I wanted a kitty. Or chinks. Yeah, it's my first Pokemon! You have a Pokemon, and I have a Pokemon too. You know what that means, right? We have to battle. Oh, please, not in the lab. I'm sorry. It's in the lab. <laughs> Theo's dorky little hair. Oh my gosh, I'm Theo's! Ah. Okay, fight. Oh my gosh, this AI is awesome. It's super effective. That's slow for me, it's not the game lagging. I know I'm supposed to be like that or not. What? But I'm supposed to win! Well, you're a nerd. But how- I'm supposed to be the best- best trainer ever! It's impossible, good trainers never- I- I- blah. 
Please don't cry, Theo. Yeah, here's Pokemon for you. Pokemon went down like a punk. What a beautiful trainer. How come I couldn't win? I really wanted to win. Well, between your starter and cheeps, it has, or there's the type of edge. It's fire, fire beats grass, and grass beats water. Then it's triangle, well, one of them at any rate. Learning to master tight matchups is an important part of being a trainer. Woo! -hoo. No way, I want to do over. How come cheeps get a better start over? Starter. Ah, this is a stop crying. I'm going home. You'll be fine. Sai, he took that harder than I hoped. Shouldn't be so quick to judge him. He's just a kid after all. But he'll soon discover the training Pokemon isn't as easy as he imagined. Where are you going? By the entrance of Route 1, by the edge of town. Hero, and I'll teach you how to catch Pokemans. See you later, Cheap. Alright, let's... Check out our homegirl. Rap torch. Modest, I want to say modest is like really good. Yeah, I want to say our special. Oh, it shows all that stuff. Uh, but yeah, modest raises. Actually, we can just we'll just send that away. Uh. Yeah, Modest is super duper good for what we're gonna do, because I'm gonna burn baby burn Disco Inferno, as the kids say. Okay, Auntie wanted to see our Pokemon. You have a literal raptor in your house right now. I hope you're enjoying it. You came about to say goodbye. How sweet. Is that your Pokemon? What's it called? Raptorch? It's so cute. Come back when you need to rest, or if you just want to humor your old aunt. Can do. Uh, where's the snurd? No, he was down here? I explored this entire town and forgot where people lived. Please stop that. You say my son, he ran upstairs crying and locked the door behind him. He won't tell me what's wrong or come downstairs. Or if you do anything to hurt him. Oh. <laughs> That's how it is. You got the weaker starter, and you beat him in a battle. Hmm. I see. That explains it. Hard lesson to be sure, but losing is as much part of being a trainer as winning. Yeah, his heart set on this day being perfect. So losing right off the bat is somewhat of a shock. So crying won't solve anything. That's something he has to learn. Theo! Come downstairs right now, you little scamp. Young man. <laughs> Young man, you little scamp. Same difference. Stiffle. You can't cry every time you use the battle. It's part of being a trainer. But it isn't fair. Chief's got the better starter than me. Now I'm never gonna win. You have to catch more Pokemon. To balance out your team's weaknesses. Besides, the well-raised Pokemon can still win, even at a disadvantage. No sense in giving up before you even begin. Sniff. Yes, Dad. I think I won't always be around to pick you up when you're feeling down. Try and be strong for yourself, okay? Is Dad gonna die? Please be patient with my son. He looks up to you now. Oh, I nearly forgot cheap Theo. I have something for both of you. Like a present? Yes, exactly. Chief Father Kellen sent me these and told me to give them to you both when you begin journeys. Sure, it will come in useful. It's a Pokepod. Yes, please ask that question. I took a bias that's indispensable for Pokemon trainers. Oh cool, it plays music and includes maps of the region. It like, contains a phone that allow you to stay in touch with each other and other trainers. Cool, hey, I got a red one. It's cooler than yours. I'm gonna meet the professor by the edge of town. I'll be the first catch Pokemon. Bye dad, keep up cheap. <laughs> well, talk about your mad turnaround. Oh, this bounces back quickly. Cheap, you don't want to keep the professor waiting, so you should get moving too. See you in the again for some time. I'm starting a new job soon. I'm supervising the construction of the new power plant Epsilon. Perhaps I'll see you there in time. After all, last place Lucille was ever seen. Let's look on your journey, Chief. Uh, so he gave us that. 
radio, a map, a phone. Let's go see if we can get our auntie's phone number. But that'll be next time. And I'll see you guys. You know what? Next time we'll start at that route. I'm just gonna talk to Auntie real quick. Okay, she just heals us. We're not getting Auntie's digits. Fire without you around now. I didn't see that nice boy Theo around lately. He's on a Pokemon journey. Calm down. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!